Hello and welcome to a new unboxing video of Aerobertix. I'm here in the office of Aerobertix and together we're going to talk about the T-Motor. More exactly about the AM600 combo. If you want to know more about what's in the package, how everything looks, stay with us. So, as I have mentioned, today we're going to talk about the T-Motor, the quality, what's inside the package, how is everything packed, how it looks, everything you can see here in the video. Today we're going to discuss about the AM600, more especially about the 525kV version with the AM116 controller and the AM Link, which is all included right in this box. It's the combo package. We're going to take a closer look. So, this is the box, it's quite sturdy, everything is nice and well packed, and we're going to open it now, together with you. So, take my knife, and we'll start opening up the package. T-Motor is a quite new brand, um, starting to conquer the, the market now for a few years. Um, it's mainly used at this moment in aerobatic planes, but and the drone industry. But of course, the motors can be used for several other purposes also. Um, this motor specifically is for the um, 60 inch series of planes, which means planes around 3 kilograms, between 2.5 to 3 kilograms, um, which is perfect in this market. As you can see, eh, nice packed. As you can see it here. More in detail, these are the available combo versions. Hmm. Today it's the AM600 525kV. So we're going up, open up the package. It goes nicely open, nice and smooth. Very nice detail here. I'm going to remove this. And then we have here the box. Hmm. I'm going to open it up. Everything slides right out. Hmm. Again, firmly packed, very good. Um, a sticker set, and we also have a bigger sticker set available. I'll put this right here. And then you can see a nice lip that we can open it up. Here we have the whole setup. Everything is here included. I will quickly go to the hand cam and we can have a better look. So, as you can see here, we have the controller, the AM116. We have the AM600, uh, 525 kV, the AM link, which is here also included, uh, together with all necessary components. The prop, uh, carbon propeller from T-Motor, 16 by 8, very nice. Everything is well packed, good for damage during transport. So, back to the top view. Um, where do we start? I will start with the easiest part, it's the propeller. It's a nice propeller, very sturdy, good quality, eh, and light. It's a very light one. Mm. Eh, very curious about the performance of this. We'll test it later on. Then, the next part we have, eh, the quality pass. We have the controller. I will take out here the controller. I will show the components more in depth through the hand cam later. Very small, very nice. Um, Seems very good. Also, some slots to uh, put the tie wraps around, so it doesn't need to go over it, it goes in between. Um, it feels quite cold, which is good for the heat dissipation. Uh, all metal housing. So, uh, yeah, looks very promising. Gold contacts are already soldered on it. So, I'll put this here. Then, we have two extra cables, small adapter cables, three, three adapter cables. Uh, we will look what's that for uh, later onwards. Uh, this is to connect uh, probably the program cards. Then, next up, we have the engine itself. It's firmly tight. Oh. The prop spacer, the prop adapter. As um, 
you can see everything is coming apart. That's why you can uh, mount first the plate to the engine box, the motor dome, and then you can uh, um, put the, uh, the engine on it as you want. If you want the desired position, you can choose. You have three positions that you can mount the engine. It's all with uh, bolts, let's say, that you can tighten it. The motor itself looks very very good. This one can also come off. It's to adjust the space of uh, the propeller, uh, the spacing you need. It looks quite smooth. It has a very large diameter, as you can see. Very small, but a large diameter. This is good for the torque. Uh, the magnets are more on the outside, which can generate more torque uh, than a smaller engine. So that's why it's also smaller. Um, okay, we'll look more in depth later onwards. Then we have here the AM link. It's a program card, so you can connect the ESC to the uh, PC and also read uh, our telemetry data if necessary. Next up, we have all kinds of spacers, gold contacts, and then all bolts necessary to mount the engine, which is logic that's inside. Also, extra shrinking uh, foil. Uh, which we, we can use to go over your um, do over the two contacts, and then it's better uh, than it can go uh, out anymore. So it's a good fail-safe. Uh, what do we have also? The fan. Uh, so the fan has the cable, so the cable or something else. Um, you can use the fan uh, to cool extra your uh, your ESC, your uh, controller, if there is not enough. Uh, airflow going over it. Mm. It's, it doesn't hurt to use it, so why not? Mm. Here we have a capacitor. Um, this is to plug directly into your receiver. Uh, it's to help uh, the back uh, of the of the, con of the controller uh, to uh, avoid voltage drops and everything because they're quite high uh, power servos uh, these days and they are better. What do we also have are some tie wraps. We have three tie wraps inside the box. These tie wraps can be used, as mentioned, to secure the, S the controller, the ESC. If we just can slide it through here, so it's a nice, clean installation of the controller. Let's put this right here. And what do we also have? This one we can take out. This one also. There is a spare prop inside. So, as you can see, two props in the packages. Always good to have one reserve. Um, you never know what happens. So, that was everything what's in the package. So, now that we looked what was inside the box, now we will have a closer look with our hand cam about the components uh, and how everything looks, how everything will fit um, and what's in detail included. So, I will switch to the hand cam. So, here you can see I lay down everything more uh, in order. We have the tie wraps for the controller, the three parts for the motor, uh, the uh, spares and spacers and bolts and everything for the engine, the AM link, which is for the programming or telemetry data, but only for uh, Eversky, Futaba and the Yeti. Um, the fan, the capacitor for the, uh, for the receiver, then the cables to connect everything, and then the two propellers. So, I'll put this here. Put this more down, so, so that we have a better look. So, first of all, the engine. We can mount this in the plane. Then you can mount the engine as desired. You can do it like this. And then we can fit the bolts in here. The bolts, they are in this package. Quickly take, take the knife. So, if I open this up, everything come on. So here we have these kind of bolts. Uh, 
they go right into here. We can fit them in here. So, and then we can tighten them uh, in three places. As you can see, then the motor is secured. Always use Loctite in these kind of applications. Uh, there are almost no vibrations, but over time um, every bolt will come loose if there's no Loctite used. Mm. Then we can adjust, as mentioned before, we can just mount this one on here. But we still need to uh, secure it with the set, set uh, bolts. Um, don't really know what it's called in English exactly, uh, but the set screws. set screws. So we can do this over it, we can just lock them, always use Loctite, very important. Um, or we can use the spacers. There are three spacers um, which are included in the package. This means you can uh, adjust uh, the engine, the prop, with one millimeter. So uh, if we place over the three rings, uh, the prop mount is three millimeters more to the front. This is perfect to adjust. In most of the extreme flight applications, I think you will need the three spacers. And then you just tighten it with um, the set screws. Uh, there's also spare set screws. Uh, which is very handy uh, if you, someone will come out uh, or so. Um, then we have, of course, the propeller, which needs to go onwards. It fits right out of the box, uh, which is perfect, of course. Then a uh, uh, washer for the prop. And then we have two bolts, as you can see. One is with uh, a cone, and the other one um, has a space for the cone. Uh, so what do we do? We first put on this one, we tighten it as much as possible and then afterwards we can use this one to go over it so that we have two nuts, actually one locking the other one, which is very very good. Um, so I'm going to take this out quickly. And they go on the inside, so they will lock each other. Um, so, so this is the whole package of the engine. So, I'm going to put this right here. Next up, we have then the speed controller, more in depth. We have, as mentioned before, the two slots that you can use. So, we add this one here. We add the other one right next to it. So, and then we have a proper way to mount the ESC, the speed controller. Uh, it's 3 to 8 S LiPo um, and with a back of 15 uh, amps. So it's very good. Here we have the standard um, cable which can, needs to go to the receiver. And here we have the possibility for telemetry data. As mentioned before, it's certainly Futaba and the Eversky. Um, therefore, we need to connect this cable, the longer cable that's included, so that it comes out as long with the other one. And then you can link it to the AM link. You can see it here with the T. Um, so you can use it for the telemetry or programming the ESC. If we then go in this package, it's the fan. And here we have the fan. We open it up, you can see yeah, that we can mount it here on the ESC properly. Uh, also, on the cable needs to go to that side. Uh, there are four holes where we, you can mount it. In the back of the capacitor, there is there are the, the bolts and uh, the screws uh, to use it. Uh, you can just put it in. Then there is a small spacer also included, which you can use, so that there's more airflow that can pass by. Uh, you just screw it up, sorry, it's, it's on the other side, you can just screw it on here. Mm. Then you tighten it, you do the same for all four, and then you have an ASC, uh, the fan on your ASC. And you just plug in this cable into the port of the fan. Mm. Just check only for the plus and min. And then you can put this in. So, 
and then your fan will, will turn on when you connect the battery to the ESC. This is in general the ESC, uh, here you need to um, solder on your contacts, desired contacts, depending on what uh, contacts you're using for the battery. Then, if we check further, uh, the capacitor, you need to just plug this in, in a free channel on your receiver, uh, it's better for uh, the peak currents. And then you have the AM link. If you need to connect this, if you're a Futaba user for example, uh, you can connect this. Here you have a P and a T. T is for telemetry, uh, P is for the going to the receiver. You plug in the white, red, uh, black cable inside the P, sorry, from the ESC side, uh, you put a controller, you just plug this one in. You can do the same for if you need it, the telemetry data. You can do the same, uh, both coming from the ESC. And then you have these two small cables uh, provided. Uh, you can use the same colors, yeah, it's, it's much easier to recognize, so you can use it. So, and, well, and then you can use this, connect it uh, to your receiver. Um, so that's that, I think that was everything what's inside the box. Um, so this was the unboxing video, now we're going to install it in a plane and then uh, you will see some flight videos. Hopefully I will uh, see you next time and uh, have a good day.